is Crystal, and you know where I'm from, accessprovide.com, that's right. So today we're out here at Food Truck Wars, and they're at Palm Bay BCC campus today, the first time ever here in Brevard County. So we came out to see what's going on at the Food Truck Wars. There are about 40 trucks here, every type of food that you can think of. We have seafood, there's lobsters, Asian food, hot dogs, crabs, Mayan food, Indian food, Caribbean food, every kind of food that you can think of, they have here. So we're gonna walk around and see if we can get a few samples and um, check out the judging and see who's gonna win this thing, take it all home. truck wars and you guys will never believe who I ran into. I have here Mayor Capote and he is acting as a judge today for the food truck wars. So tell us how your experience has been so um, partaking in the food truck wars this year. So far it's been good. So far it's been good. I, I think that this is a perfect event as you look around people coming in, in and out, in and out. This is what Palm Bay needs. This is like a burst of energy into what I envision Palm Bay doing on a regular basis week to week. Uh, I think that a city has to have activities for its citizens. Absolutely, and, I mean, it, and it brings more awareness to the small businesses right. as well. Exactly. You, you allow for, for sponsorship, for people they want to sponsor. You see all these trucks coming from all over. I believe that one of the trucks came as far as from the Carolinas. Wow. So we have trucks here from all over the place, and I, th it, and I believe that we need to continue doing events, different events like this uh, as a municipality in order to get noticed and, and move forward as being the number one, the largest city in Brevard County, the second largest in the Central Florida. Okay. Behind Orlando, not right. that far. Okay, so obviously you ran a good race. Yeah. You were elected. Yeah, I guess. This is Palm Bay's mayor, people. All right, so what do you have to tell the people that were unable to get here today or couldn't come out? This, this, I'm gonna make sure that this becomes an annual event. So if you hear from your friends that this went on th this year, next year I'll be back. So don't think that you're gonna be left out and this is a one-time a one time shot, no. This is the type of events that Palm Bay needs and as its new mayor, I'm gonna make sure that I continue to bring different events like this to the city. And you guys heard it here at accessrevard.com. This is an annual event. This thing is gonna go on and on. So if you did not make it this year, don't worry about it. We're going to have plenty of stuff here in Palm Bay for you to do when you guys come to Brevard County. You heard it from Mayor Capote. Hello, I'm Crystal. This is Claire from Blue Bayou. And um, they basically serve like your, your authentic New Orleans cuisines, very um, Cajun and Bayou-ish. So she's going to tell us a little bit about their spot. We're from Sanford, we travel around and we have some of the best food at this place. Cajun, it's delicious, we have grits, we have po'boys, we have anything you can want. Yes ma'am. Alright, so where are you located at in Sanford if I'm just in the area and looking for you guys? Well, we are part of a catering service as well, but our food truck travels around. We're in Oviedo a lot and we're trying to expand, so. Okay, so you cater to any event? Yes ma'am, we do. Cool, alright, so. That's it for Claire at Blue Bayou. We're gonna stop by if you're in the area and see them and get your New Orleans classics. All right guys, here I have Liz and she is a coordinator with the Food Truck Wars. And she's just gonna tell us a little bit about her job behind the scenes um, and what it takes to put this big thing on. So Ms. Liz. How much work is required into throwing something or producing something as big as Food Truck Wars? Well, it's definitely a joint effort. We, we depend really a, a great deal on the city, and the city of Palm Bay has been tremendous to work with, especially I have to plug Heidi Lapin from this Parks and Rec Department. She's just been phenomenal to work with. And, you know, so it really is, takes a lot of people to put this thing together. Um, Heidi has definitely been at the realm over there at the city. Myself with Food Truck Crazy, we've been pulling it together. And I have a tremendous team of people. Um, we like to say it's a well-oiled machine. We do a very good organized event, and we try to keep the community first at all times, make sure that our safety is number one. 
and we just have a really a lot of fun with it. It's a, it's a lot of fun and it's a great opportunity for the small and large businesses to get out and make some money. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we thank you for putting on and hosting and producing and everything that you do for such an event of this magnitude and we thank you for having us. Thank you and thank you to all the people that help support us. I really do appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks. to the judges table here at the Food Truck Wars and we're going to talk to a few of the judges and see just how they're judging this thing and um, what their critiques are and how they go about finding a winner. Alright guys, we're here at the judges table and we are talking to Jim Waples with a long A and he is Chairman Emeritus. And uh, we're out here at the Food Truck Wars. He's just going to tell us a little bit about the judging process and how they go about picking a winner of the competition. Thank you very much. Well, this competition is for people that have food trucks that come to our Food Truck Wars. And I was asked to come and be the lead judge. And we have four uh, very distinguished judges today. We have two from La Cordon Bleu, two gals. And then wow. we have someone from the uh, newspapers here. And also our honorary mayor, I shouldn't say honorary, our mayor of Pond Bay is here this afternoon. The criteria that we use for judging is they're judged on several different things on their judging form. One is taste, which is very, very important. One is their creativity, how creative the meal is that they have. Uh, and like I say, taste. And then ease of eating while they are walking. Because the, 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 the guests that are here this afternoon, they're all walking around. But we want to be able to serve them something that they can eat easily while they're walking. So that means the portions can't be too large. So then there are the... Uh, judgment forms is turned in, they're tabulated, and then we have a, um, a second round for the winners of the first go round, and then we find that we, we elect uh, by vote the number of points that they receive for first, second, third, and we have uh, four places that we're judging today. Okay, absolutely, that is an interesting criteria. I've never heard anyone judge on the ease of eating while walking, so you have to put all these things into mind when you're cooking out here at the Food Truck Wars. Okay, now is the are they weighted? Like, is, is the food kind of higher than the other, or is it all equally balanced, or how does that work? It's whatever the food truck wants to serve. It's entirely up to them. Uh, some things are very, very easy, like a gourmet hot dog, for example. Other ones are, are more uh, distinguished, such as a, a lobster roll with a lobster bisque. So they go all the way from that. We've even had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that was a gourmet peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It was absolutely delicious. I'd like to try that. Could you tell us where you got that from? Uh, I don't remember the truck. because I, <laughs> I just remember there were 46 on the list. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Mr. Waples. It has been such a pleasure. And thank you for coming and visiting us. Thank you for having Thanks us. Bye-bye. campus at Food Truck Wars and I'm here talking to Chris he's from Arts Barbecue and he's gonna tell us how you can find him when you come to Brevard County so where are you located at usually uh, basically we're gonna have a restaurant at 1823 Knox McCray Drive that's right on the corner of Barna and Knox McCray you can come in there we have some great soul food for your barbecue now we're featuring seafood so you can just step on in there and try you out so one-stop shop, you can get your barbecue, you can get your seafood, you can get, you have desserts and everything? Desserts, carrot, pecan pie. Carrot, pecan pie. Oh yes, we have a beautiful, blessed looking carrot souffle. You need, you can try it out right now if you want to, and you can tell them You can go ahead and hop on that out. I do want to taste that because that has to be an original recipe and exclusively at Art's Barbecue. So oh, Knox yeah. McCray is in Titusville, correct? Titusville, Florida, yes. Okay. That's about 30, 45 minutes from here going north. Okay. And your hours of operation? Uh, 11 to 9. Every day? Monday through Friday. Well, Monday through Thursday is 11 to 8. Monday through um, Friday and Saturday is 11 to 9.
truck wars. This was a first time thing for me, and I am definitely going to be here again next year. So we look forward to everything that is to come for the city of Palm Bay. We look forward to seeing food truck wars in Brevard County again next year, and we look forward to seeing you also at our next food truck wars competition. So go to accessbrevard.com, look for all your latest, greatest news in Brevard County, check the sidebars, leave your questions, leave your comments, because we want to hear from you guys. This is Crystal signing out with accessbrevard.com. Until next time.